You know, if there's anyone who's still trying to clutch at any shred of an idea that there's something of value in Gamergate, they need to shut the fuck up right fucking now. This is pretty much anti-Gamergate in a nutshell. If someone poses your opinion, just tell them to shut the fuck up. I mean, seriously. Has anyone from the anti-Gamergate side have ever thought of, I don't know, actually talking to someone from an from Gamergate? Has anyone has ever bothered to do that? At now, if you've been fortunate enough to not even know what this fucking drivel is, good on you. Potted history, it started with some sad fucking loser pouring out hate on an ex-girlfriend, telling a shitload of lies, and it got worse from there. It just been, yeah, bitches fuck things up, don't they? And then the hate on any woman who's speaking out or doing anything different in any aspect of gaming. That's what Gamergate is. And yet when it comes to tweets, we barely talk about Brianna Wu, Anita Sarkeesian, or Zoe Quinn. If anything, Zoe Quinn, Brianna Wu, and Anita Sarkeesian try to bring themselves into Game of Gay so that way they can make themselves professional victims. That's what they only know. That's all they know is to be a professional victim. They need to be targeted in order to feel in. There's three million tweets in total about Gamergate. Only about 16,000 tweets were directed towards Zoe Quinn. And even less about Anita Sarkeesian and Brianna Wu. Yes, we're a, a, a big, massive movement to attack women in video games. Gamergate is a bunch of sad fuck-ups behaving in a sad, fucked-up way. And after they suddenly realised, oh wait a minute, this is a little wank circle echo chamber that not many people agree with, they start clutching, oh no actually, this is about integrity in gaming journalism. Yes, yeah, what it is! It's about integrity and gaming journalism. So of course they went after the big publishing houses that pay the big gaming websites and magazines. Actually, magazines are still a thing, aren't they? They're probably still a thing. I don't know. Things move so fast. Let's pretend they are. But anyone who's anyone knows these big sites, these big review sites, it's fucking payola. If they give a bad review to a major title from a major uh, release, they'll just get cut dead from everything else. So you get these fluff reviews for fucking everything. But no, 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 no. That's not what they go after. They're going after independent game makers and reviews. They're going after women who've spoken up and said, you know what? There's some fucked up attitudes in the game. And they, they've exhibited, no, there's no fucked up, you cunt whore. I'm going to give out your fucking home address and I'm going to come around and rape you and your family. That has actually specifically happened multiple times. Yo, Grandpa, take a fucking chill pill. Even I don't curse as much as you do. Uh. So, those people who have left death threats are obviously, without a doubt, from Gamergate, even though it's possible they could be from a fake account, or it could be someone who is not a part of Gamergate. Or it could be someone from Gamergate but you're just basically blaming Gamergate as a whole. Just say, look at this example. It's from Gamergate, therefore Gamergate as a whole is evil. <sighs> Pretty big straw man. Oh, and then they've come up with this, oh, we're a leaderless organization, you know, like the uh, Occupy movements. Shut the fuck up, you sniveling fucking cowards. Gamergate is misogyny and lies. Yo, Grandpa, take a fucking chill pill. Even I don't curse as much as you do. Uh. So, those people who have left death threats are obviously, without a doubt, from Gamergate, even though it's possible they could be from a fake account, or it could be someone who is not a part of Gamergate. Or it could be someone from Gamergate, 
but you're just basically blaming Gamergate as a whole. Just say, look at this example. It's from Gamergate, therefore Gamergate as a whole is evil. <sighs> Pretty big straw man. That's what it fucking is. If you have any other agenda, get the fuck out of Gamergate. If you think a movement for integrity is important, I would agree with you. That's not Gamergate. Gamergate is lies, misogyny, and fucking hate. I would have slightly more time for these people who, if they just came out and said, yeah, I don't want these bitches fucking to us. Oh, making me think. Oh, making me have values. Fuck that. I hate that, and I want to get rid of it. But the lying fucking shit weasel cowards won't even admit what they are. Well, maybe, and hear me out, maybe you should start talking for, to people who are a part of Gamergate rather than just come out with this bullshit about how Gamergate is just full of lies. I mean, if Gamergate is full of lies, then at least provide some fucking proof to do so. Otherwise, get the hell- And it's ridiculous because it's so obvious what they are. Everyone knows you're lying, you pathetic fucking loser. There are two sorts of people still promoting Gamergate. The overwhelming majority are nasty, fucked up, right-wing, misogynist little shitheads. The others are people who've been sucked in by nasty, lying, misogynist shitheads. That's all there is. That's all there is to it. The fuckwits and their dudes. That's it. And they'll peddle out like, oh, here's a woman who says she doesn't agree. Therefore, all is well. That makes no fucking sense. She's got me dancing. She's got me dancing. She's got me dancing. There's no one step behind. She's got me dancing. She's got me dancing. She's got me dancing. There's no one step behind. It's an online battle of the sexes. Over She's got me dancing. She's got me dancing. She's got me dancing. There's no one step behind. Someone, please contact these women and let them know they aren't participating in a consumer revolt. Tell them they're actually being co-opted by a top-secret 4chan conspiracy to drive women out of the game industry. Women aren't an amorphous block. Men aren't an amorphous block. I'm a white guy. Therefore, if I say something, all of the white guys think the same and negate... What the fuck? That makes no sense at all. Gamergators are a bunch of sniveling, whiny little fucking man babies and as I've learned earlier this year there's a big crossover between them and men's rights activists who are the most pathetic fucking whiner losers on the fucking internet yeah cause the MRA they have done absolutely nothing good so I fully expect these shitheads to come out of the fucking woodwork ooh you've got a mangina ooh you're whooped no I'm a Fucking human, okay? Something tells me otherwise. And you're a subhuman, worthless piece of fucking slime, and you need to shut the fuck up! So you're a human because you believe in equality and all that, and we're not human, we're subhuman because we are against feminism, we're against, you know, social justice warriors, and etc. You're a fucking imbecile. I would consider this a troll video if it wasn't for the fact that you're such a pathetic piece of shit on the internet. So, that's all I have to say for now. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game.